The data analytics field is rapidly growing and will soon be an essential part of our business economy. But it isn't immediately apparent what a data analyst does. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that a data analyst does, why businesses are investing in data, and how I even got into data in the first place. So what does a data analyst do? A data analyst looks at raw data, which is any information about a subject that is yet to be cleaned and manipulated. Once they have this information, they're then able to manipulate it in a way that allows them to draw insights that can be communicated with the business stakeholder. What does this look like in practice? Looking at Instagram as an example, Instagram is a platform that exists in the attention space. Their primary goal is to keep users engaged with their platform. The way that they're able to do this is they invest really heavily in their data department and analysts are able to look at what posts keep users engaged and recommend posts that are along similar lines. This allows users to stay engaged with the platform for longer, encouraging advertisers to spend more on ads that will be seen by a wider audience. But why would a data analyst manipulate data? That doesn't sound like a good thing, right? Data often comes in a source that is unreadable, both to machines and to humans. It could be a string of letters that is completely meaningless outside of context, or it could even be an object that cannot be coerced into your visualization platform. It's up to the data analyst to take this raw, unreadable data and put it in a format that is recognizable and can be used to derive insights, which is what the primary goal of all of this is. Why are businesses investing in data? We just looked at an example of how data is used and a couple of insights that can be drawn from them, but that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what an analyst can do when given access to data. Another example within the attention space is YouTube, which operates under a similar model of Instagram. Their goal is to keep users on their videos longer so that advertisers have more space to advertise their products. Analysts really care about video engagement, whether or not users are liking, subscribing, and commenting on videos, and how long a user is staying on a particular video. With all of this information, they're able to put the best advertisements on videos that have higher user engagement and have higher watch time, thus ensuring that advertisers are able to spread their ads to a wider audience. However, data just doesn't have to be restricted to the attention space. In my role, we use customers customer engagement data in a host of different ways, including identifying pain points so we can help improve our platform. Imagine that there is a Mexican fast food company called Serrano. This company has seen stagnant sales over the last few years and is hoping to introduce salads onto their menu in order to bring in a new type of customer into their establishment. What a data analyst could do is come in, look at the previous few year sales data, look at the products that have driven growth and those that are kind of stagnant, and using all of that information forecast whether or not the addition of salads onto the menu will actually increase growth in a meaningful way. It's clear that businesses are investing a ton into data, and that doesn't seem to be slowing anytime soon. There are a host of new opportunities in the data field that keep popping up, but with it comes new candidates all looking to break into the field. So how did I get into the field? Especially given that I came from a non-technical background, it was a pretty tough field to break into. Initially, I didn't even think that it was a field that I was interested in. I'd always loved numbers, but I didn't really know too much about analytics as a field. That said, an opportunity at my company arose, and as I started to learn more about the steps that go into what it means to be an analyst, from finding data to cleaning it to manipulating it and finally drawing insights out of it, all of that just sounded really compelling to me. That sort of encouraged me to start to learn the technical skills that are required in order to be an effective analyst. And that kickstarted me on my journey as to where I am now. It's pretty important when you're starting your journey into this field that you are able to tell your own personal story. One way that a lot of analysts do that is through Medium, which is a blogging post where you document your learning journey and post it as blog posts. Alternatively, and what I personally chose, was to build a GitHub profile, which allows you to tell your story through your repositories. A repository is a collection of files that you have made, as well as all of their version histories, basically telling the story of you as an analyst. This helps build credibility and acts as social proof, giving employers the confidence that they need to take a chance on you. If you want to learn more, check out this playlist of other videos or head to our blog for other introductory content.